hey everyone how is it going uh, so in this uh, I guess short video I'll talk about angular routes uh, and how you should configure your server when you upload an angular application to a server so an angular application basically when you compile it uh, it's just a, a static files and it's perfect for uh, you know um, uh, static server so because everything is done on the client side but now the problem what happens is when you have say a website like example.com uh, and then you put slash something whatever login then you get this ugly not found or the requested URL was not found on the server now if you go on the angular uh, website you will see a solution for this so I'll just bring that up so they tell you that in the server configuration in the deploying application uh, they'll tell you that uh, you know whatever server you have you configure it that way uh, so since I'm using Apache so what they're saying is you go in the HD access file and then you add this now uh, this they actually don't tell you in which file you have to add this so it's very important to understand this if you're using a non SSL then you're just going to add it in the regular configuration file but if you have SSL or uh, like a, you're using HTTPS then you're going to have this uh, add this in a different file so this is this is what I was struggling with and after trial and error I found out so that's why I'm sharing this with you guys if you're using uh, you know IS then you have to do it this way so now let me show you um, so here's the problem first of all uh, I'm trying to access this uh, URL uh, but I'm getting um, you know this not found so but if I go to the regular URL then you know of course it works and as you can see I have SSL because I'm having the padlock so that works fine so now I'm just gonna head over to the server and uh, we're gonna take a look all right so here I am on the server uh, by the way I am on the um, uh, Amazon uh, light sale so they're using the uh, Linux I think it's a Linux distribution so but it doesn't matter uh, it's Apache server so now let me head over and show you where the configuration files. So if I go here, Bitnami, I think it's Apache 2. Uh, and then it's configuration, Bitnami. So let's just do an LS on this. So as you can see, there are two configuration files. One is the bitnami.config and the other is bitnami-ssl. So if you put your stuff in the bitnami.config file, then um, you know if you try to go to your website and let's say you have SSL it won't work and you'll be like scratching your head why it doesn't work so you have to add it in the right file so what I'll do is I'll uh, just come here to the right file config and bitnami well actually no let me add it in the wrong file so just to show you um, uh, what this is all about so I'll come over here uh, so as you can see I have the uh, rewrite engine on and I'm saying if uh, there's no HTTPS, then you pretty much redirect all the traffic to HTTPS. Once you do that, then the other file actually takes over. Because this is listening on port 80, uh, HTT SSL is on port 443. So I'll show you that in the other file. So now let's add that stuff that was recommended by, um, by Angular. All right, so I have this stuff over here. I'm just going to bring this over to the other side. And I'll qu quickly add this in here. Right, so what we're saying here is you know if it's a file or if it's a any directory then you let it pass uh, that's what the dash means um, or um, you can add a symbolic link if you want uh, but if anything else then you just uh, you know give it to index.html so now remember we are we're changing the uh, the regular file not the SSL configuration file so I'm just gonna save this and we're just gonna restart the server all right so it looks like uh, we have a problem here in maybe in our file, so I'm just gonna go ahead and open it. All right, so the mistake I made is the real the rule is real, so that that doesn't make any sense. All right, let's just try this again. All right, so this is done. I'm just gonna open that website again, and we're gonna try that. All right, so as you can see, I'm here, uh, and what I'll do is I'll just uh, put in anything. So I'll say anything. So it so ideally it should take me to index.html and then the angular router will actually take over so if I do that and there you go so I'm getting not found so let's fix that now all right so I'm here back in the terminal 
Uh, and what I'll do is I'll open that configuration file and we actually don't need this. So I'll get rid of all of this. Right. And then I'm going to save this. And then what I'll do is I'll open that SSL file that I was talking about. So I'll open that and I've already added it. I'll just uncomment it. All right, so it's the same story here. We're saying that uh, turn on the uh, rewriting. Uh, if it's a document or if it's a file or directory, then let it pass. Uh, and uh, if it's uh, anything else, then just uh, hand it over to index.html so Angular router can take over. And then what I'll do is I'll just save this and then we can restart. All right, so that's restarted now. All right, so that's restarted. Now let's open that website and try it again. All right, so before, as you can see, it was uh, not found. So I'm just going to press enter here. And here we go. So it uh, redirected us to the actual, it redirected us to the um, uh, to the index.html and then and the router took over and then we're back at our login. So just to recap, uh, if you're making a change for Angular router uh, on your server, just to make sure that, uh, first of all, whatever server you have, so if it's Apache, you're gonna uh, probably change the HD access files. So I'm using Bitnami. They have a configuration file for that. And for Windows, you'll, you'll be using the IIS. And then if you're using SSL, then you wanna modify the uh, HD access dot dash SSL file. Um, or if not, then you can just modify the regular HD access file. I hope that helped. Uh, please subscribe and uh, bye for now.